In this problem, we're going to take this region and rotate it about the x-axis, and then find the volume of the resulting solid. And we're going to do this using the shell method. So first note that y equals x squared is a parabola, and it looks like this. x equals 0 is a vertical line which lies on the y-axis. So it looks like this. And y equals 9 is simply a horizontal line at 9. So let's try to put all of these things together into one picture. So we have x equals 0 here on the y-axis. And then we have our half parabola. And it comes up to 9 right here. So this is 9. And then this would be 3 because 3 squared is equal to 9. So if you plug in 3 here you would get 9. And we're spinning it uh, about the x-axis in this problem, so it's a little bit different. So because we're using the shell method, our rectangles always have to be parallel to the axis of revolution. So when we draw our rectangle, it has to look like this. So what this means is that we're going to have functions of y. Remember, when you have horizontal rectangles, you have functions of y vertical rectangles, functions of x. Okay, so that means we have to solve this for x. So if y is equal to x squared, to solve for x we take the square root of both sides. So we get x equals plus or minus the square root of y. Since we're on the right side, we're in quadrant 1, we want the plus. So x is equal to the square root of y. So that's the graph of this function here, x equals square root of y. It's a function of y. Okay, so h and p are the two things that really matter here. So h is the height or length of the rectangle. So it's h of y, because it's a function of y. p is the distance from the skinny part to the axis of revolution. So this would be p of y. Looks like the x is pointing here. This is our function x here. This is our square root of y. Okay, so h of y, it's right minus left. So it's just going to be x equals square root of y minus x equals 0. So it would just be the square root of y. Remember, whenever you have a horizontal rectangle, it's right minus left. Vertical rectangles, it's top minus bottom. And then p of y, well, that will vary as we integrate. And so this distance here is always just going to be y. So the volume is given by the integral with a 2 pi, because shell has the 2 pi. And we're integrating with respect to y. So we're going from 0 to 9 from the bottom up. And it's pH, pH. So it'll be y times the square root of y dy. So this is 2 pi times the definite integral from 0 to 9. We can rewrite the square root of y as y to the 1 half. This way, when we multiply it by y, we add the exponents. So we will get 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 halves. And then we have our dy. So the volume is equal to 2 pi. Let's go ahead and integrate. We can use the power rule. So adding 1, we'll get 1 plus 3 halves. So that's 2 halves plus 3 halves. So that's 5 halves. And when we divide by 5 halves, we really multiply by 2 fifths. It's a really ugly 5. Uh, and then we're going from 0 to 9. Let me clean this up. This is 4 fifths pi. Y to the 5 halves. And we're going from 0 to 9. So this is 4 fifths pi. Plug in the 9, we get 9 to the 5 halves. Subtract, plug in the 0, we get 0 to the 5 halves. So this is equal to, well, 9 to the 5 halves. The way you can do that is you put the 2 here in the little pocket. 
9 goes here, and you can put the 5 anywhere you like. So it's the square root of 9, which is 3. So we get 3 to the 5th, which is 243, I believe. So this is 4 fifths pi times 243. And if you put this into your calculator, you will get 972. So we get 972 pi over 5. And that will be the volume in this problem. And the hardest thing about this problem is that we have functions of y. Just remember, it's always right minus left whenever you're trying to figure out uh, the h when and it's a horizontal rectangle. That's it.